Hi, and thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking at Lesson 5.2 Extension today, which is graphing proportional relationships, so just a lot of using the coordinate plane, which is why we reviewed it just a few days ago. Um, today you're going to be writing eight things down in your notes, so let's go ahead and get started to see what they are. The first thing we're going to write down or draw is um, what's in this green box over here. So you are going to pause the video as soon as I'm done talking, but what you need to know about proportional relationships is whenever you graph it, it's going to always start at 0, 0 and have a consistent um, increase of line. Okay, so these were the um, the numbers that we graphed and they all have a proportional relationship. If you put them in a fraction form, they all reduce to two-thirds. Um, and so that's just another way that you can tell that they're proportional. Remember from our lesson in 5.1 or 5.2. Um, so just to make sure that you are aware, whenever we have proportional relations, it's going to have um, a straight line, oops, and it's going to pass through the origin. So make sure you copy the graph just so you can see what it looks like as well as a sentence right down here. Um, so go ahead and take time now to pause. Once you're done, click play. So these first few you're going to pause and try on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and try to answer yes or no if it's showing a, po a proportional relationship and then click play to check your work. Alright, so number two is a yes because it starts at zero, zero and it has a straight line. Number two is no because it starts at um, zero comma one. And number four is also no because it is starting um, at zero, but it's not increasing steadily. Again, here's your number five, so go ahead and pause the video, try it, then click play to check your work. This one also is not a proportional relationship because it doesn't start at zero, zero, and have a straight line going up. Okay, so it has to have those two things. Number six, go ahead and pause it as well, try. Once you're done, click play. Number six is a no as well. It still starts at zero, zero, but it's not a steady increase. Remember, steady increase, it has to be a straight line. Um, and another thing you can do is actually graph proportional relationships, and you will see that a little bit on your worksheet tonight for homework. Um, so here's what it would look like if you graphed your points. If I graph my points, these are the line that, this is the line it would make. I can connect my points. I'm gonna try to make a straight line as possible. And notice if I continue going with the pattern, I'm going to end right here at um, 0, 4. This graph is not a proportional relationship because when I graph it, even though it makes a straight line, it is not starting at 0, 0. Okay, so you have to make sure that your um, graph is showing a proportional relationship when it starts at 0, 0 and has a steady increase. Same thing here, you're going to plot points, so this is what it, so those are all my points plotted. I'm going to connect them, and notice if I can continue going, it does start at zero, zero, and it's a steady increase, so this one would be yes. You could also tell because of these, if you set them up as fractions, they would all reduce to one half. One half is equal to two fours, and a one half is also equal to three six. This next one, you're going to interpret the point. So you're going to write out what each point means. So go ahead and take time now to look at the graph. I'm going to get you to pause the video and do that. And once you're done, go ahead and um, see if you can tell me what 0, 0, what 1, 1.5 1 means, and what 3, 4.5 means. Okay, so 0, 0, you notice that um, the x-axis represents time and the y-axis represents distance. So always whenever you're graphing, the x value is always first and the y value is always second. If I'm going to talk about what 0, 0 means, that means it's going to be 0 seconds and 0 inches. Because 0, it goes with x, and 0 goes with y. Um, for this one, 1 goes with x, so that's 1 second, and 1.5 goes with y, so that's 1.5 inches. So it's very, very easy. Um, and then this one, 3 comma 4.5, that's 3 on the x-axis, that is 3 seconds. And y is the 4.5, so 4.5 inches. So that's essentially what you'll do on your worksheet for tonight as well. 
So this next one kind of kind of go reiterating um, what the point one comma ninety represents. That would be one second ninety feet. The point zero zero would represent zero seconds zero feet. How far did the cheetah run in three seconds? Well, at three seconds, it's intersecting at 270, so that'd be 270 feet. And then assuming the cheetah continues to run at the same speed, how long would it take it to run 900 feet? I know that 400 feet is taking me five seconds, so it's probably gonna take me double that, about 10 seconds. Okay. And then the last one, it might ask you to find the unit rate. So if there's no unit rate given, you just have to use um, a point on the graph. I can clearly see a point here is 1, 2. So that is 1 pound of nuts, and it's going to be 2 pounds of fruit. So my unit rate would be for every 2 pounds two pounds of fruit per pound of nuts. Okay, so this one you actually had to look on the graph to figure that out. The last one is just kind of a think about it question. Is it possible to have a constant rate of change and not to have a proportional relationship? If you think about it, a proportional relationship looks like this and it starts at zero, zero and has a straight line. You can still have a constant rate of change and not start at zero, zero, okay? This one would be a not proportional relationship, but this one would be yes. So is it still possible to have a constant rate of change and still not have a proportional relationship? Yes, because we can prove that right here. That's not proportional, but it still is a constant rate of change, okay? That's going to conclude our notes for today, so just make sure you have eight things written down, and then go ahead and get started on your homework activity for tonight.